In this video, we will cover how to build a RAG application using Chat Client API and advisors in Spring AI. When we are talking about RAG, there are basically three steps in it. First is going to be document reader, where actually we can read any kind of document. In this particular video, we are going to read a text file. So the method which we are going to use is textreader.get. Then we have to perform certain transformation. And for this, we are going to use token text splitter. One of the example is where we have to split our large document into multiple smaller ones and for that we can use the token text splitter dot apply method and then the last step is going to be document writer where we have to get all the document and then put it into some kind of vector store one of the example for this particular step is vector store dot add method where we take the document and just store it into any kind of vector store so we have already performed all these three steps when we have built our rag application using chat model api where we were taking the file and then performing a rag on top of it by asking some questions but while building a RAG application on chat model API, we have to create our system prompt and then actually we have to pass all the documents in the form of context to it under the system prompt. So we have to perform certain steps over there to build this RAG application. I will put that link in the description so that if you are interested, you can go over there and have a look. That is a two part series where we have gone over step by step how to build that application using chat model API. In this video, our focus is going to be on chat client API. With chat client API and advisors, we don't have to perform all those specific steps. Our code base is going to be smaller and with that a smaller code base only, we would get the desired output. The advisor is a very powerful concept in Spring AI and we are going to use one of the advisors over here, which is specifically built for RAG application and that is called question answer advisor. And when we are using the question answer advisor, then we don't have to pass any context via system prompt and that's our code base is going to be smaller if you compare it with the chat model API. Now let's go to our code and see how we can perform certain steps. So before going to the code, we have to add certain dependencies. So first thing is going to be Spring Web. Then we have to add Spring OpenAI as we would be using OpenAI models. And then the third would be Lombok. Lombok is basically we are going to use it for the logging. So these are the three dependencies that we can add in and we can generate a project. I have imported it in my IntelliJ. So I will directly go over to the code and first thing actually what we have to do is go to our application properties and we have to specify all our variables over here so we have to pass our api key we have to pass our model in this case i am going to use gpt 40 mini and then you can skip all these parameters if you don't want to use it and after that you can see i have created three folders over here one is going to be config controller and service we are going to start with the config folder because when we are using a chat client api then we have to create a bean of it and we have created ai config class this is going to be of configuration type and this is how we can use the bean of chat client so we just have to pass chat client dot builder and then we can return a builder dot build and it will create a chat client bean for us also because we are going to use a vector store so we have to declare a bean for that as well this is going to be same what we have used earlier this is a simple vector store which is okay for the demo purposes and this is coming out of spring ai so we don't have to do anything else to initialize this particular vector store so this is coming from a spring AI framework and we are just utilizing this simple vector store after that we have to go to our service class and as we have seen in our diagram earlier when we are performing any kind of rag then there are basically three steps involved for our sample file is in the data folder so our file is going to be here and now we have to access this file so first thing actually what we are doing is defined a resource and under this resource we have just passed a file path so data sample.txt it will create a file resource for us and then we are auto adding the vector store which we have defined in the AI config class after that we have defined a method over here and in this method the first step is going to be taking that file and then reading the content out of it so we are using the text reader for this one and this text reader is also coming from a spring AI framework only we just have to pass a file resource over here and then it will create a text reader for us this particular step this is an optional step but this would be helpful just to add some kind of metadata data into the content so that in future you can get a reference what is the source of the data that we are looking at we can add any kind of custom metadata using this particular method it is available under text reader we have to take all this text and then convert it into a document object because that's how llm model works and this is what we have been doing in our earlier videos also using this particular text reader dot get method we can convert all this data into a document object and this is going to give us a list of document now this particular step is required because we have 
have to split out document into multiple ones and this is going to split out the document based on the the default chunk size it will take all the document and then divide it into multiple chunks and that's how actually we are going to get a multiple document if i don't use this particular step and try to run the code i'm going to get an error and why i'm going to get an error because this whole file contains 16k tokens I won't be able to pass all the 16k tokens in one go because of the model limit. So I have to split it out into multiple documents. So we can just lock the size over here once we have performed certain transformation which would split this particular document into multiple ones and then we can compare the size which is going to come over here after that once you have all the documents ready then we just have to add it into a vector store that we can do it using vector store dot add method and that's where the document writer step is going to come into picture which is going to be the last step now after that we just have to return this particular vector store and that's why the return type is going to be vector store over here now we have to go to our controller class now this controller class is a bit different what we have been using in chat model api and here you can see we are retrieving the vector store first by calling our ai service and here we are auto wiring our chat client api we have already defined a bean in the config class we can just go ahead and auto wire it and then we are using the chat client api we are just passing a prompt after that prompt we are passing dot advisor so this is where the advisor is coming into picture and under this advisor then we are just invoking this particular advisor and under this advisor we are passing the vector store which we have just retrieved it from our service and then the search request default now if you have to achieve the same in the chat model api then we have to write additional steps over there as we have seen in our earlier videos where we were writing a code to perform a search request and then actually we were writing all the system prompt to pass the context of the documents and then actually we were able to get the output out of it but with the help of question answer advisor we don't have to perform all these steps we just have to pass the vector store we just have to pass our search request over there we can also refine it like uh, what we have done in our chat model api or we can go ahead with the default one and after this we just have to pass our query under the user method and have to call this particular method and then we have to call this content method so this is how chat client api is going to help us to achieve the same with a smaller code base using this particular advisor here i am just putting it into a map so that we can get a response as a key and then the response and the return type is going to be accordingly map of a string and a string so let me just go ahead and try to run this code and see whether we are able to get a similar response what we have been getting from chat model api with this smaller code base using advisors and chat client api my code is up and running i just have to go to this particular endpoint ai response i will go to message and i will pass message what did author do while growing up and i will just hit this send button again we can see it's just embedding all the documents and you can also see over here earlier the total document size was one then we have applied this token text splitter which has splitted whole document in the default chunk size which was 800 and then it has come up with the 21 chunks of the document so after that we have created 21 documents over here and then when we are performing this add operation then it's taking all the document and then inserting into a vector store so for that it has to convert all those document into embedding and each document document is coming with their specific document id now once this is done then we are going to get a response from api so let's go over there here you can see without using any system prompt or without passing any kind of context we are able to get a required output that's the power of chat client api and advisors while building a tag application and that is a recommended way going onwards that's all what we have in this video thank you for watching